In regression analysis, one problem associated with small data sets is that the regression results can be unduly biased by one or more data points. There are two kinds of influential data points. A high leverage point refers to a data point that has an extreme value of an independent variable. An outlier is a data point that has an extreme value of residual, that is, in the axis of the dependent variable. Of course, a data point may be both high leverage and outlier. You should note that high leverage or outlier points may not cause much problem in regression analysis, especially if they lie close to the regression line. Such points may not necessarily be influential. The influential points are those that distort the regression line, affecting the goodness of fit. For simple linear regression like this, Identification of such influential points can be done from observing a simple 2D scatter plot. Typically, those that lie far from the regression line are suspects. For multiple linear regression with several independent variables, more quantitative and objective approach is needed. We'll be learning the leverage measure, studentized residual, and Cook's distance methods for measuring and detecting influential points. For simplicity, we shall illustrate such methods using a 2D plot, but do be aware that they easily extend to multiple dimensions. A high leverage point can be identified using a measure called leverage, denoted by the letter H. For a particular independent variable, leverage of a particular data point measures the distance between its value and the mean value of that variable. Leverage is normalized between 0 and 1. High leverage points may be a leverage factor closer to 1, while low leverage points are closer to 0. The higher the leverage, the more influence it can potentially exert on the estimated regression. A useful rule of thumb is that if the leverage measure exceeds this value, then it is a high leverage point and is potentially influential. In summary, the leverage factor identifies high leverage points. The process is to calculate the normalized distance of the observation from the mean, and if this factor is greater than 3k plus 1 over n, this observation is a high leverage point. To identify outliers, the preferred method is to use studentized residuals, denoted by the letter t, as it is a t statistic. For each data point i, the point is deleted and the regression model is re-estimated with the remaining data points. The residual of this data point is its y value minus the predicted y value from the regression. This is repeated for all the data points and we're able to determine the standard deviation of the residuals. For each particular data point, its residual over the standard deviation is its studentized residual. This reflects the number of standard deviations that the data point is away from the regression line. To test if a particular point is an outlier, its studentized residual should be compared to the critical value of the t-distribution statistic with n minus k minus 2 degrees of freedom. Points that fall in the rejection region are termed outliers, and they are potentially influential. For this example, these two points may be considered outliers. In summary, the studentized residual is useful for identifying outliers. It measures the number of standard deviations the point is away from the regression line. If it falls in the rejection region in a t-test, or if its magnitude is greater than 3, the point is considered an outlier. So far, we've identified this point as high leverage and this point as an outlier. This point is both high leverage and outlier. You should note that outliers and high leverage points may not necessarily be influential. They are just potentially influential. An observation is considered influential if its exclusion from the sample causes substantial changes in the estimated regression function. The Cook's distance is a well-known metric for identifying influential data points. It measures how much the estimated values of the regression change if observation i is deleted from the sample and is expressed as such. As the Cook's d depend on both the residuals and leverages, 
It is a composite measure for detecting extreme values of both types of variables. A very large D indicates that the particular observation strongly influences the regression's estimated values. If the Cook's D is higher than 1.0, or the square root of K over N, the observation is highly likely to be influential. In summary, the Cook's distance is useful for identifying influential data points as it measures the change in regression estimate if the observation is deleted. If the measure is greater than 1, or the square root of k over n, the point is highly likely to be influential. The use of leverage, studentized residual, and Cook's distance can be summarized in the following table. The influence plot can summarize the three metrics for all data points in one single glance. The x-axis plots the leverage, which is normalized between 0 and 1. The y-axis plots the studentized residuals, which can be positive or negative. The majority of the data points should plot around here, that is, they are neither high leverage nor outliers. These three points correspond to the high leverage and or outlier points we identified earlier, and the size of the circles for each data point reflect its Cook's distance. Let's say these results are from a dataset of size 12 regressed based on a model with two independent variables. We will first identify the thresholds for the three measures. Based on leverage, a value higher than 0.75 is considered high leverage. Only point A and B meet this criteria. Based on studentized residual, we find the critical T values based on 5% significance and 8 degrees of freedom which is plus minus 2.306. Only points A and C meet this criteria. And based on Cook's distance, points which have a measure greater than 0.408 are considered highly influential. Only point C meets this criteria. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.